Today we're going to set up an AWS instance and install Kaldi on it. First, open your AWS account and find the EC2 instances page. Click Launch Instance, scroll down to the Deep Learning AMI Ubuntu 18.04 and select it. For step two, select the G4DN.2x large instance, as it has eight vCPUs and one GPU. And it's 75 cents per hour, so make sure to pause the instance when you're not using it. For step three, select a specific subnet. This is optional since it defaults to a random region. For step four, disable the delete on termination setting and change the root size to 600 gigabytes. From personal experience, 400 gigabytes isn't enough, so I opt for 600. Then you can skip to step seven, review the instance settings and launch the instance. I'm creating a key pair, but you can use an existing one. Now it's time to open your terminal and log into your AWS instance. The address you'll be SSHing into is Ubuntu at your instance's public IP address. If you're using a new key.pem file, make sure to change its privacy settings by using the command chmod400 with your file name. Once you successfully SSH into your instance, it's time to install Kaldi. This is the tree of the current folders in our EC2 instance. The initial downloading steps can be found on the official Kaldi webpage. Just copy and paste the first two commands on this page into your terminal and you should be set. Next, open and read the install file in the Kaldi directory and follow option one. This means you should change to the tools directory and follow the directions in the install file there. Check for dependencies using one of the provided lines and install anything that isn't downloaded yet. There is a bug for one dependency where even if you download it, the check dependencies command will still say it's uninstalled. You can just ignore this warning if you have already installed it. Now we're going to return to the installation steps and run make with the last option since it uses multiple CPUs. When that was done running, I saw the warning that IRS TLM is not installed, so I'm running the provided line to have it installed. If you recall the original installation steps we found, you'll remember that when we're done in the tools folder, we should head to the source folder. Here we can open the installation file and follow the three simple commands. And that's it, you're all done installing Kaldi. This is the tree of the directory that we have now within Kaldi. This is how much space we have on our instance. And finally, these are the block devices on our system. Thank you for watching and hopefully this tutorial was helpful.